myself more than once. Okay. So, I'm gonna try not to cry. But. Um, I try not to bring a lot of stuff on the internet. And I feel like I was trying to handle this breakup. Oh my god, I'm gonna stop crying. Okay. I'm trying to be strong about this, okay. So, I'm trying to handle this breakup as well as I can. And I posted on my story, I don't know if some of you guys saw this, but I posted on my story pretty much saying that after I broken up and it was really well thought out and I asked that nobody put hate on him in any way because that's not what I want because no one did anything wrong and this is just a normal teenage breakup and it happens all the time. No one did anything wrong and I worded it as well as I could and I thought about it and I read it over and over and over again. And I wished him nothing but the best, and I told everyone it's not his fault and that you shouldn't hate on either of us and show both of us love and support because that's, that is what I really truly think. And I'm not going to give you guys all the information, and I wish I could, but I'm, I'm not going to get into it because I don't like bringing things to the internet. And in my mind, what we and me and his family had agreed on was that agreed on was that I was going to post this and they were okay with it because I reached out to them and asked them so we could be on the same page about it because I respected them enough to give them the opportunity to say if they didn't like anything or whatever because I genuinely this whole time have been putting Asher first and this this whole thing really isn't about Asher Asher still didn't do anything wrong um this whole time I've been putting Asher before my feelings and just considering every little thought that he might have. And so when I asked everybody if they were okay with the post, everybody gave me the thumbs up. And I posted it because you guys deserve to know what's happening to a certain extent. And, um, geez. Normally, like, I don't go live when I, like, do this because I just don't think it's necessary. Like, this part of my life doesn't need to be on the internet, but because of what they did, I feel like I do have to, like, confess whatever. I don't know. So, pretty much, um, they gave me the green light on saying, yeah, this is okay. You didn't want to look at it. They, they didn't. did. They didn't. My mom's right here because I'm scared. So, they pretty much said that it was okay and that they didn't want to read it because they knew that I was going to handle it well and super classy. So I was like, I mean, okay, sure. I, I, so I posted it and um, I'm already having just a terrible day. And I have been for like the past like long time. I'm literally shaking. Okay. And then I'm sitting on my beanbag and I see that someone posted from Asher's account. Um, I don't remember what it said, but it's pretty much saying that when you love someone so much or you can't hate someone because they break, broke up with you or pretty much which number one why are you posting on your main number two why are you literally calling me out and making and not like finishing a full just like i don't even know how to explain it like they just completely she just completely threw me under the bus and you guys didn't need to know all of the details and for her to post certain details that she wants to post and not all of them it just really really frustrated me because she really didn't help the situation at all she didn't help her son she was just doing it out of i don't want to say anger because i don't but probably but it, all it did was just confuse you guys and put a and put me in a terrible position because i don't like coming on the internet and I don't know what my deal is with families who like to bring things on the internet. But I feel like I needed to come on here and clear up that I didn't do, that I didn't do anything wrong. And that 
and that she didn't show me that post before it went up and I feel like I respected them enough to tell them like hey I'm posting this today and she didn't tell like didn't she didn't I did, had no idea that that post was going up and to see it on line and all of the comments and I just felt so hurt because I was really really close to them and for them just for her to just post this and this just this isn't even a little bit of what's been going on I just I've learned that I just don't know when I'm gonna have like a normal I don't think any breakup is normal but like so far I just don't get why all breakups have to be so online like I don't know I'm literally shaking but um again I don't wish any hate on any like on him or me like we didn't do anything wrong we're teenagers but that post invited hate on me and I do not appreciate that at all because I never ever ever would have done anything like that to her Asher and neither would my mom ever and I'm not trying to bring Caleb into this but like I'm not gonna actually but Anyways, I know you guys are there to support me. The only reason I went live is just to tell you guys that. I just felt like I needed to clear my name up because I didn't do anything wrong. And her like, pretty much just like putting hate on me and putting all the blame on me, which is what I felt like for the long, the lay on my voice for the longest time. It's just been really, really hurtful just to see this other side of them. Not Asher. Not Asher, but like, I just don't get it. But I'm really trying not to cry because I don't like crying on the internet. But that's pretty much it. Just please um, show nothing but support and love to both of us. I still just know that the breakup, we did, I didn't do anything wrong. And she shouldn't have put the blame on me. And, um, yeah.